Hello everybody, Rupdad here. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. In the last episode, we explored Luca a bit, got into a bar fight, and then Yuna went and got herself kidnapped by the Albed Sykes, who apparently did so to try and force the Mercedes Rocks to lose. Really? I honestly don't understand why they feel they would need an advantage if the Orox are supposed to be the worst team in all of Blitzball. But anyway, gonna go over to this dock to fall on the red arrow. But first, hello, Awaka. Hey, get over here. The stores in the stadium are closed during a tournament, but I'm always open for business. Yeah, so Awaka's got stuff to sell to us. Or we could lend him more gear. More gill. Gear. Um, let me go ahead and... So his guy's got potions, phoenix downs, and oats. Well, basically a whole bunch of regular stuff. I'm gonna buy three eye drops, three echo screens. I'm pretty good on everything else. I have my reasons for doing so, and you will see them very shortly. The people here are so into the game they don't even look at what they're buying. Got a love blitz. Eh? Indeed. First, let me check out what weapons you got. Kay's got, not that I have the guild for it, but Stunning Steel for Titus. Well, there's the Rule Breaker if I want to buy it again. Not going to, though. What I have now is better. Um, I'm good with the Brotherhood for Titus. Um, he has the Thunder Spear, which is kind of similar to the Tile Spear I picked up in the last episode. It's that, uh, that one's got Water Strike instead of Lightning Strike. I'm keeping the Hunter Spear, though, merely because it's got a Sensor. Um, Magic Ring, MP plus 5. If I have Gil, I may come back and get that. Magic Bangle. I think I'll keep the Blue Bangle for Lulu for now. Red Armlet. Um, the one I got from uh, Kilika Temple actually works a lot better. So, now that we've taken a little tour of Oaka's wares, let's go back to following the arrow. Um, one thing I probably should point out. We've got battles along the way. And Titus, or whatever you named them, Kimari and Lulu are the only characters you can use. Whoa, what are they? Ancient machina salvaged by the Abed. They are mostly vulnerable to lightning. Yeah, you got a bunch of machina to fight along the way. Um You can only use Titus, Kimari, and Lulu. Um, because Yuna's been kidnapped and Waka's playing the game. Um These are just workers. There's nothing really too impressive about them. They're pretty vulnerable to lightning, as you can see. Like, that's a weakness all Machina pretty much share throughout the game, so... Pretty much whenever you come to Lulu's turn, just have her use Thunder to blow the crap out of these things. See? And this is something that doesn't happen, I don't believe, in any other fight during the game. Whenever you knock out one of these Machina, your characters kind of surround the remaining one. Kind of weird, but... Get some experience, and move on. And these are required battles, so I'm not going to skip through them. If they were just random encounters, I probably would, but they're not. Oh look, even more. So, let's go ahead and start kicking the crap out of them. These things are pretty fast, admittedly, but, again, whenever Lulu's turn comes up, Black Magic, Thunder, no more Machina. Simple as that. And you, my little Machina friend, are still alive. Some Machina are more defensive than others, admittedly, because, I mean, they are made of metal. That's kind of obvious. They don't require piercing weapons. Well, not these ones anyway. There are some later in the game that might require them. But pretty much all Machina are weak to lightning, so as long as you're, you've are you got someone who can cast thunder, you can pretty much slaughter these things. This fight's a little different, however. Simply because you're starting off with two Machina, like usual. Of course, gonna completely obliterate this one with thunder. 
keep beating down this one. These things aren't really... Yeah, I gotta cut you off the pass. These things aren't really too powerful, they're just more of an annoyance than anything else, but... What's up with these guys? Yeah. This fight, you're not just simply dealing with two workers. You've got, I believe, actually a total of six of them to deal with. In total. This is probably gonna be overkill, but... Why not? Boom! Thunder. Gone! And of course, there's more because. The dead were expecting us. Thank you, Lulu. I'm gonna hit you. Have Tamari hit you. They're gonna get a turn to attack and really not do anything. Gonna blow the crap out of you. I just realized Rough Dad's pretty low on HP. Um. Nah, he's good for now. I'll deal with it mo in a moment. Down goes the Machina. Got some Sphere Grid levels, which is nice. High Potion and next Potion too is pretty good. Let's check upon how the game's going, shall we? The Aurochs are keeping the score tied with some excellent defense, folks. Two all, not bad. Uh oh, here they come. Oh, he'll feel that one in the morning. Hey, hey! The referee doesn't call the foul. Wack is taking a real beating out there. No kidding. Do they even have fouls in Blitzball? Well, not when you're playing, but I oh. guess supposedly they do, but Still in there. not calling them. He won't last. Waka's always like that. Ouch. Not really confident Let's in them, are you, Lulu? Anyway... Let us move on, shall we? Gonna use this to heal up, gonna take care of my Sphere Grid stuff real quick. And we're back, and ready to move on to... The next stage of this little rescue operation. There goes the Albed boat, pulling away. Let's go. Certainly it looks familiar. I wonder what's with that crane on there. Nope, oh, are we gonna make it? Are we gonna make it? Yeah, we made it. Hey, how Lulu beat us here. All right, Albed, we're here. Where's Yuna? That's not Yuna. As if the change in music wasn't any indication, this is a boss battle. This mechanized monster is known as the Obliterator. Pretty nasty hey, thing. We can use this crane. But yeah, there's a crane over here, so let's try to use it. Um. Come on, move. It's probably out of power. Joy. Anyway, Obliterator is pretty nasty. He can counter your attacks by either blinding you with from physical attacks or silencing you through magic attacks and he's also got a devastating attack which he's probably going to leave here in a moment called Blitzball Rush which hits all your party members multiple times also to note he gains one agility after each turn he takes so he will actually get be able to strike more times the longer this fight goes on there are two ways you can do this fight the straightforward way, which is harder, by simply draining the 6,000 HP he's got. Or the easier way, which I'll point out after Kamari, lands a critical hit and gets blinded in return. This is why I bought those things from Awaka. Anyway, on Lulu's turn, use Thunder not on the Obliterator, even though he's weak to it, but on the Crane. You can't target the Crane for attacks, any other magic spells you try to cast will, as you can see, not do any damage. 65,535 HP, what a number. But yeah, you cast Thunder on it to heal it, I guess. Up, oh, it's responding. Um, you can keep using the Use Crane Trigger command, but until it's actually operational, 
I would instead recommend doing this. You should have haste by now if you've been focusing on your main character, mine of course named Rup that, um, his fear grid. Cast haste on Lulu. Trust me. As for Kamari, I'm just gonna go ahead and use Lancet. Him being blind isn't really too big of a worry as far as I'm concerned. Oh, now he's muted. Wonderful. Anyway, gonna cast Thunder on the crane again. Um, if you're going the hard way... Oh, they... Oh, nope, not yet. Anyway, here comes the Blitzball Rush. Really don't want to get hit with too many of those, honestly. Anyway, gonna use Thunder on the crane again. Um, if you're going about this fight the hard way... Casting haste on Lulu and spamming Thunder is the way you really want to go. Um, oh, Kamara landed a hit. I was honestly not expecting him to. Lulu, I'm just gonna ever cast Thunder on this thing. And it's gonna mute her now. Um, with your main character, now that the crane's up, up and running, use the crane, and watch how much easier this fight suddenly becomes. Who's ready to play the claw game? Look, Mommy, I got a prize! Well, half of it anyway. Boom! That will always knock off most of the Obliterator's HP, but it will never actually kill him. Um, from here, he is a sitting duck. Your Blitzerator will not attack in any way, shape, or form. And you are free to pretty much just beat the crap out of him until he goes down. There's nothing he can do. And there you go. See how much easier the crane made this fight? If you actually tried to fight him head on, that actually would have been a lot harder because the Blitzerator is... That's actually the way you're supposed to fight the Obliterator. He is made he is not unbeatable, but he is very hard if you try to go the straightforward route. I like how that is when our victory theme plays. Uh, Kamari Spirit level, I will deal with later. Lightning Steel. I may have to look into, into that. But, we saved Yuna. I hope you hurt them. A little. Ha! Poor Albad. Wait, no, not poor Albad. They kidnapped Yuna. What is it? What's up, boss? There were these Albad that saved my life when I first came to Spira. All right. They took me on their ship. That. They even gave me food. What is it with you I and food? I was kind of hoping that this was the same ship, but it's not. Of course not. Unlike that one, this one's got a freaking oh, crane. All gone. What happened? Sin came up near us. I made it out okay, but I don't know what happened to their ship. Um, was there anyone called Sid on that ship? Not that I can recall. I don't know. They were all speaking that Al Bed language. Of course. I see. So who's Sid? He's my uncle, but I've never actually met him. Mm hmm. Cue the light bulb going off. Wait. So that means you're Al Bed too, you know? Yep. On my mother's side, yes. Sid is my mother's brother. She's half out bad. Distant after my mother married. But she told me to seek him out if I ever needed help. You're worried he was. Don't tell Waka about Yuna's lineage. The thing about Waka, he never had much love for the Albed. Gee, I wonder why. Whoa! I I gotta tell Waka. I thought I told you not to tell Waka. The game! Okay. Oh. Now, I think they steer the boat back, but I'm honestly not entirely sure, but... Lulu here... She's ba- I don't know what kind of spell that is. It's not a spell you can actually use in the game. But that's basically a, f a signal she's sending up. And there you see it. Waka sees it, so now he knows Yuna's safe. Time to stop left. playing the defensively. Screw defense. 
time to really get in there and kick some ass. Go Waka, go! Oh, hello! How about that? Unbelievable. The Aurochs win the match 3 to 2. So what's that about the Aurochs being the worst team in Blitzball again? Seriously, explain that to me now. We won. Woohoo! We did it. We're in the finals. Yay! Not the most graceful win. Well, it's not exactly a graceful if sport, it was Lulu. Jeff, he'd still be standing. Whoa, uh, uh Hey. Aren't you being just a little unfair? Yeah. Excuse me? I know I could never take Chapu's place. Um... You're the one who told Waka that, right, Lulu? Maybe you should... And I don't think Waka stop would ever try to you're... take Chapu's place. You don't want to finish that sentence. Yeah. So now, let's head on back. Dum -de dum 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 Okay, so we saved Yuna, took care of the Albed. Um, Orox have moved on. Um, I think that's actually a good stopping point for this episode, so I'm gonna go ahead and save up here. And next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy X. We are going to see how Waka's doing and probably get into some Blitzball. So I will see you guys then.